Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're at our local park today to fly the Bugs 8. Now just so you guys know, the Bugs 8 is also, you'll see it pop up a lot with the Bugs 6. Six. That is because MJX, when they designed this, from my understanding, the Bugs 8 is meant to be sold in retail stores. And the Bug 6 is the one that you can find pretty easily online. The only main difference other than that is the canopy collar. I as, think that, that's as far as we know as of right now. That's right. All we know. Now, the Bugs 8 and 6, to my knowledge, both have 1806 sized, 1800 kV brushless motors. Those are Again, brushless. And it's a 250 size quadcopter. That's right. So. And you said it's mostly auto level? Yeah, this is a fairly beginner friendly race drone. It's all plastic frame. In fact, the awesome. motors themselves, get a close shot of those motors. Other than that metal thing up on top, they're actually plastic. So we're going to fly this thing for you guys. They're boasting a uh, 13 to 14 minute flight time. We have two batteries with this. So Abby and I are each gonna fly it. We're also gonna test some of our aftermarket goggles with this, as well as the included FPV system. So this is a very literal, Fully ready- ready to run FPV race trim. Yeah, with both a transmitter option and a goggle option. So we're gonna get set up here really quick and then we'll show you everything that comes in the box. Okay, here's our flying grounds, and then uh, we've got our stuff set up here. I want to give you guys a quick shot of everything that comes in the box. Here's the quad itself. Uh, the only thing that's not going to come on yours is the RC Sailor sticker, unfortunately. Good looking quadcopter. You can angle the camera up and down, uh, and it has bright LEDs on the front and the back with an XT30 connector, I believe. Here is the transmitter. It's a pretty standard Bugs transmitter. Um, I like the setup a lot and then your monitor that's included that is rechargeable can snap right on to that. So um, you can fly with FPV on the monitor if you like instead of being so immersed wearing goggles. It does come with a sunshade hood which is right here that goes on that. Then you have your goggles. These are the included goggles to the Bugs 8. What you do is you slide this monitor down in here for FPV. Now you close the hatch, it snaps, and then you fly like that. Abby will be testing these because they will not fit over uh, my, they don't fit my head because of my glasses, okay? Um, it does have two batteries. These are two cells, 1300 milliamp. 1300 milliamp. 7.4 volts again with XT30 connectors so that's a nice hobby grade battery here's the included charger it charges one at a time that's a that's for two cells that's for three cells uh, via USB and it did a great job uh, nope nope complaints there and then this USB is to charge the little monitor for your FPV system comes with four spare props here and here we have a screwdriver, little plastic washers for your props. And this is really cool. Abby, if you'd open that, I'll show you guys what that is. You also have instructions for the goggles. Really nice instructions in here for the quad itself. And then this, uh, I'm gonna need two hands to show them if you would hold that. This is one of the most unique designs I've seen for removing props. It's actually really good. Let's say, you're, let's say this is on too tight and you cannot do it by hand because it's gonna be self-tightening over time. If it gets too tight, this is just a little clamp system. You put that down over that and then you pinch and then you twist and it Neat. loosens it for you. What we did with our goggle system is uh, we brought these to record the DVR to FPV quality, okay? So that's gonna be a rougher image, but yes. with if you can put the SD card in that, it'll yes. be better image quality and right. everything. So I may end up trying to do that. And you then know, oh, no, there's... These are the only goggles that I have that I can fly with my glasses. So. I have a lower quality micro SD card in the car right. if you we'll want that. that. Yeah, we'll definitely use that. It's and not so, like a class 10 or anything, but it's, it is a micro. These fit over my glasses, so I'll link these below for you glasses wearers. It and just seems like a lot of the goggles that these overseas companies are making, they're just not making them wide enough for your face. Not. 
and then here show them that again nathan and so they, just, they they like hit the sides of your your glasses yeah. they just there's just not enough room there they just didn't so, make the base wide enough for Abby your face. Will test those for us but they'll be fine for non-glasses wearers yeah. but for glass wearers you need something it's kind like of annoying this. and these fit perfectly See? over my glasses that is so nice yeah. so we're going to test this we got to run back to the car put a micro sd card in there so it'll record all that and uh then we'll get this in the air for you guys so when you turn this on you actually have to have the transmitter off, hold the red button, turn it on, and then it binds it up. Quad on first. Right, and now we should be able to uh, start the idle. There we go. All right, I'm gonna try to film. The card may not work, I don't know. It's flashing down there now, so we should be okay. It flashed for a second. So let's hold that blanket down. I'm not getting my hand close to that. Let's, uh, let's try this. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so I'm just doing a little line of sight flying here just to see how it hovers, see how it looks in the air. Those red lights on the back look really good. Oh, that's headlights. White headlights. Oh, yeah. Very nice, nice and bright. And just a little line of sight zipping around here. I'm just going to do complete line of sight right now. And there is a, lie, a, a low high rate. Right. Keep saying lie. <laughs> okay, and we'll hit that low high button real fast. So definitely a lot snappier, way snappier like that. And back into low. We got some frisbee golfers here, yeah, maybe yeah. in the way. And I want to try a flip before I even attempt FPV, which is right here. So let's go out here just a bit. And we'll try the flip right here. Maybe it can't do it while I'm got to hold the button. And that was a really good flip. You hold the button then yeah. direction. So let's just test that closer. See? Wow. Very confident in its ability to flip, not losing any altitude on that. So now I'm going to fly FPV just using my little monitor here. Nice and slow. If Abby doesn't block me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going just nice and slow around here, but I'm only using the monitor, not even looking line of sight anymore. I'll fly I how the are nice. looking. So the range is okay on that. It definitely doesn't have like an awesome antenna or anything. What I kind of had those goggles sitting on the ground a little weird, so if it wasn't recording very well, I apologize. That was my fault. Sorry. I'm just going nice and slow through the trees here. It's actually behind me now. Yeah, it's a little bit of interference. Yep. Not too bad. All right, now what I'd like to do is put my goggles on and fly up here with that because that's going to be the best experience. Yeah. At your your system is doing way better than these. Then you must have a bad channel selected. Maybe. Should I scan? Also, that patch antenna. How's it look now that we're in front of the patch antenna? It looks fine. Better? Yeah. That's why. you got to face this the direction you are flying. I constantly have to, like, turn it? Yeah. So, like, if I fly behind us, that patch antenna is not going to look very good. Watch. See how the signal gets worse? Not yet. No? Mm -mm. You said it looked bad. Right? But not, not anymore? Mm -mm. Well, it's probably because it was on the ground. So you may want to hold those for a bit. Okay. I'm going to land, and then I'll put my goggles on, and we'll get some real FPV flying going. So the Bugs 8 so far is very impressive. Cool. Press and hold the red button. And I'm just going to put my goggles on now. So now you're going to fly with your... My goggles. Regular goggles. Yeah. So for whatever reason, you know, that quad has to go on first, then you hold this red button and turn it on and that binds it. So then you're good to go. Okay. I'm just going to save the juice on this for you to test okay, the goggles. Cool. This one needs plugged in now. Our Ishin yeah. DVR ones that we brought along. Yep. So we'll film with this. Oh yeah. Now I can hit my big red button. It may not be filming. That card may not be good enough to use I this. I don't think it is. Am I hitting the big red button? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, here we go. So I'm just flying with a really level camera, so it's going to be really slow uh, flying. I should angle it up some, but for now, I'm just going to cruise around. So how, do you, how do you like flying in auto level? <laughs> um, well, you know, I fly acro a lot now, so... But what do you think about this, if this would have been your first FPV experience? Yeah. Oh, I, this is, is simple. You know, my first FPV experience, what was it? The uh, Black, Black Widow? Black Widow, I think. This is 
so much smoother and beginner friendly than the Black Widow. How do the, how's the FPV signal looking on those goggles? Cause I'm kind of far away. Looks good on me. Uh, it's not picking it up like at all. No, that's a shame. Cause on my goggles, it's, doing it now, it's but crystal clear, but. It um, keeps cutting in and out really bad. So let's see if I can pull off a flip FPV with these. Oh, got a big hand on my leg. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I've, no I've noticed that the goggles that it came with and stuff are uh -huh. way better with the signal than what our e-shanes are picking up. Yeah, I'm crystal clear right now. So um, don't let that deter you with uh, the signal. I think it's just that stupid I'm patch. I'm try to hit the camera again. It's flashing, but I think it thinks there's no card in there. Okay, so what I want to do now is get a more realistic flight of how this can potentially fly. Let me come in and land, and then I want to go higher rate and bump up the camera angle. And then we'll let Abby fly it some. The battery life is oh, yeah. lasting That's a while. Really, really good Most race drones, you only get like four five, or five minutes. Five minutes so. Pass, yeah. so. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how easy this is. Just push the camera angle up some. So if you want to fly Boom. fast, that's, this is what you do. Yeah. You and then I'll hit up. this. Now two beeps is a high rate. So now I just put this back on. My camera angle is up. Motors are started. So here we go. Now I want to fly forward more to keep it moving because the angle is high. If I go auto level with it, what happens is I end up looking up like that. Hopefully it's recording for you guys to see that. So when you Barely. angle the camera up, you know, you push forward and it flies forward. Um, the camera is angled up, so it looks level when you're flying forward. The signal on this is so bad. Signal on mine looks great, so. It's nothing. Oh, it's terrible signal on these stupid um, try, goggles. Try switching channels a little. You may have a bad channel. I don't know if this is a different one or the same one. It's okay. Um, eight presses would cycle all the way through. So does it look better? Here, here. This one looks a little bit better. Yeah, okay. They go behind us and that's okay, the Okay, we'll do. So Sorry, this guys. is okay. That's the thing about FPV. You gotta find the best signal. Right. So I wanna go up behind us and see if it looks any better. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good, so we were just on a weak channel to begin with. For sure, with. yeah. So I'm up here zipping around. I've got great signal quality. Yeah. It's a race drone. I've seen that show where they race it now. Right, the drone racing league on ESPN. Yeah. yeah. Here, fly down there. He's right in front of you. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I can it's chase the truck fun. a little bit here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this signal looks oh, way on nicer. on my leg. Will you save me? I'll save you. <laughs> Where are you? Where is uh, it? It's gone now, I think. Okay. I definitely felt one. So, we found a better channel. That's, oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. It's and way it's better, better now. Perfect. <laughs> to give you guys an idea here, let's just push range of hair on this. There are people walking across the road, so let yes. me go this way. Let's do the road. I'll try to go a little bit slower. Let me go a lower rate. And um, flying through the trees, I just kind of want to fly a little slower. So with my goggles, I'm still... Can you get up to the Frisbee guys? Let's see, are they still... They're at the oh, yeah, hoop. Them. Yep. <laughs> yep, they, uh, they, probably, they probably see me now. <laughs> they do. Yeah, yeah they're waving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. <laughs> okay, now these people are like right in front okay, of us walking. So I'm gonna, I had perfect range up there still, at least with my goggles. I want to go up here behind everything now on this little trail. This is so much fun to fly here. through the trees. Yeah, this signal is like really good now, okay, so good. it's definitely my fault for that. Hey, you know, mistakes happen in the mm -hmm. hobby and that's part of it. We mm -hmm. all make mistakes. We all learn every time we get out and fly. Yes. So this, oh, there's a tree. There. I just can't believe your flight time. I'm really impressed. Now, how oh, does yeah. this, how does this compare to how the Bugs 3 flew, flies? Because uh, everybody's going to want to know. Very, very similar. Yeah, if you can fly the Bugs 3, you can fly this. This is the Bugs 3 with FPV. But does this fly better than the Bugs 3 or just exactly the same? 
What do you think? I mean, it's hard to say for sure because I'm flying this FPV more than the, than the Bugs 3. Right, you never were able to fly FPV on right. the Bugs 3. But you can, we did discover that it would be very easy to upgrade the Bugs yeah. 3 to FPV. Oh yeah, there are a lot of guys that do. Right. It's Okay, now there's my telemetry. That's telling me my battery's low on the quad, which is perfect. That's so good. Okay, let me let me land and then we'll put the battery in for you. Now Yay! you should hear beeping on the quad too. Yep. Okay, let's bring it in and yep. land it. I want everyone to hear that. That's nice that it's on both. Yeah, one other good reason that it's on the quad is listen, let's say you land. Now listen. So if you lost your quad, <laughs> you got an audible alarm to help find it yeah. in tall grass. I'm gonna turn my goggles off. That was amazing. That was truly amazing. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna try out their goggles, yes. but we're still gonna be recording on our Ishin DVR goggles. Yeah. Just open that little hatch. You turn so on your goggles. We your... do have the Bug 6 in the lineup to uh, go test. Oh yeah. So we'll try to have a better SD card for that and see what happens yeah. when we do that one. Okay, there's your goggles. Yay. Right? Now let me switch the batteries out for you because okay. it came with two. Fresh battery in. Abby's adjusting her goggles because she has a big giant I got a big bun. bun. <laughs> We're filming on these little guys already. Again, these goggles are not included, but these goggles are. These feel pretty good on your forehead. Well, good. The only thing is, you're gonna wanna add a little piece of foam right there. For That's nose it. support. That's yep. it. Yep. It doesn't feel that good on your nose, but on your forehead, it feels really nice. All right, I am excited to see you fly this. Now remember, this is a little bit bigger than quads you're used to, so you wanna fly a little Find open gaps in the trees. Don't hit the tree trunks. And try to keep it off the ground. <laughs> okay, Abby is in the air. What I did for her was level the camera off. She likes to fly with a more level camera because she is flies a little in, slower. I'm guessing it's in the low rate. It is in the low rate, that's right. And so she's testing out the included goggles right now. And what do you think about comfort? And how you can see it. Oh yeah. Frame rate. It's really nice. Okay, so you're actually able to fly it. Yeah. Again, we are still recording on these, so that's going to be the FPV shot. We got kind of a rough signal there for a second around this frisbee golf. Okay, it makes sense because it's metal. Yeah. And you have a nice fresh new battery. So the whole thing that we were just flying with me was one battery. Oops. Super long flight time. You just don't get that with other race drones. The Bugs 8 is amazing which is really also the Bug 6. Abby's been trying to explain that to you guys too. Just a different frame. Now you're pretty high. So when you go in here, there you go. There, yeah, nice bright headlights. I keep feeling like something is biting me. Yeah, well, we're on these like ant hills. Um, yeah, I see a mosquito on you, I'm gonna get it. Thank you, they love me and I, dead forgot, mosquito. My, I forgot my off today. Okay, so, dead mosquito. She's up on the road there. Very hard to see from here, but let's see. Now she's sideways. So she's like right there in the middle of those two trees. I'm going through some trees for him. Cool. The hey. Signal is a little rough up here. Well, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. You're using the included goggles to fly the same path that I was flying with my favorite goggles. Right. So you're doing good. And there's no like. Oh, oh, there's a tree. Okay. Now you got to hit I that. Even see hit, hold the big red button. Hold the big red button. There you I go. I think I can take off. I didn't even see that. Where the heck did that come from? It was just a branch that you... I'm going to try to take off again. Okay. Okay, I'm impressed. See if you can bring it bring it close to us so we can take a look at the uh, damages, okay? Just watch for branches and uh, go wide if you have to. You guys see you're down there? Yep, I see the headlights. Now when you come in to land, you're going to want to land line of sight. Okay, that'll work. You're down. Good landing, close. good landing. Yeah, that's pretty close. Okay, let's... I'm getting eaten up. I'm going to go take a look at the quad. It does have some dirt spots there. Did I lose any footage or anything? But no, no, you're good. Pretty durable, pretty durable. That was good. I'm impressed because that plastic frame, plastic props and stuff, I was expecting something to maybe break. So I say you get back in the air and keep flying. And uh, just... Now if you want, you can try the other goggles. I say you've tested those enough. Unless you like them, just see, just compare. So now let's hit the uh, cam DVR button. So you have the usable channel. 
And now Abby's gonna be using the aftermarket goggles to compare quality. Let's see what you think. Press and hold the big red. There you go. Or I'm sorry, it was just a short press. You have to press and hold to stop the motors. <laughs> Do my bunny hop. Yeah. Now in comparison, oh, you, hit, you smacked pretty hard. In comparison, what do you think? These seem like darker. Kinda. Darker? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. But, I haven't got any static down here yet. And you're around that frisbee thing. Mm -hmm. So... I'm actually probably the part Now, you know, to be very fair, the ones that you're wearing now should perform much better because yeah. you have two real antennas on there. But, on the flip side, I'm very impressed at how well the included goggles were doing because she was flying way back there along that tree line that you can't fly through. So that's really good. That's really good, especially through all these trees, but still having a usable signal. Now there's a truck coming on the road, so stay off the road. Stay in the open field area for now, or just go up behind us. There she is. Yeah, very cool. I'm just putt putting along. That's I'm okay. That's okay. I think that you give a pretty good I beginner's think my perspective. Camera is tilted too far down too. Oh, it's down now. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. If you can land it somewhere close-ish oh, to I'm us. Tree. Now hold the big red button. I'll go get it. Yeah, just tilt my camera up a little bit. Like really well. She's good to go now. You're ready for takeoff. Okay, you're. Hold on. Stop bent a prop pretty bad there so I'm bending it back up some. One of your props was bent. Clear for takeoff. Sounds a little rough now. It's okay you're flyable we just need to put a balanced prop back on for you. So what happened was Abby crashed and came down hard on one prop. I tried to bend it back up some, but it's still off balance and that causes vibrations. So... And you all should have been able to see it in the cameras. Okay, so we take that off and we take the prop off. Should just come right up. There's a little washer in there. I'm going to try to get that out. A little rubber washer thing. And now it's even labeled as B, but it's a counterclockwise prop. So what I want to do is get that giant ant off of me. I know, they're everywhere over here. It's really bad. Find another B prop or counter rotating, counterclockwise. Put the fresh prop on. And don't take this as a durability test because you're going to bend props all the time and you're going to be replacing props all the time. So I'm not surprised to see this happen, especially after crashing it like that. Twice. It was a pretty bad crash. Twice. These ants, Nathan. Yeah, they're bad. After this flight, we'll pack up and go somewhere else. The ants are bad. We have a fresh prop on here. Cool. The others Thank look you. okay visually, so hopefully that cleans up okay. the vibrations. And uh, camera is level. So I think that's a good opportunity just to show people it's very easy to switch a prop out and a reason you might want to switch a prop out. Yeah. Okay. Clear for takeoff, Abby. Give them a good show. Give them a good show. Yeah. No more crashing. I think they'd like the crashing. Oh, who doesn't like crashing? Now, it sounds better. Does oh, yeah. it look better? Yeah, it's just Problem better. solved. So, just a real world example for you guys. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Super long flight times. Now, when you're a new pilot learning to fly something, if you get a race drone, and you're to that level of piloting drones, that is awesome. But if you're stepping up and trying to get to that point and you fly a, a, a real race drone, you're only gonna get a three to five minute flight time on a powerhouse real race drone. But with this, you're pushing, looks like about 12 minutes or so on a flight time. And that's a great thing for a beginner because the more time you can spend in the air, the better off you'll be. You're okay. <laughs> hey, good save. Good save. Proud of you. I heard it clip a little, so that was good. 
Yeah, longer flight time is a great thing for learning to fly. I still think I need the camera angled up a little bit more. I can angle it up. It's perfectly level right now. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to land, I can angle you up some. Okay, try to get close. Okay. Let me get my shoes ready. So I'm the pit crew here. <laughs> How close can you? Oh no, you were still in the air. What was that? It stopped. What was that? It just about? completely flipped over. I don't know. Did you go zero throttle or something? No. Try to start the motors. Stop them. One of your motors is frozen up. This front right one. Oh. It's completely... Did it fry? Yeah. Let me try again. No, it's fried. That's a fried motor. Aww. Yeah. That's not good. Okay, go ahead and stop. Aren't these brushless? Yeah, they're brushless. Just goes to show you, all you brushless snobs, brushless motors can wear out too. Well, these are in a plastic housing, so that's really unfortunate. Everything was going really, really that's well for this. Fault. No, that's not your fault at all. It just fried while it was in the air. So, you know, this is a real review. We don't hide things. We don't hold anything back from you guys. Everything was going perfect until that motor Man. fried. Now, let me just show you something. Hold the camera for me. Okay. So I know it's a bad motor or maybe ESC on board because watch. See how free that spins, mm -hmm. even under power. Now, see, it's just locked. Let's take a look inside, make sure we don't have anything weird going on in here. That foam is taped on there, FPV. There's how you change the channels on your cool. FPV signal. So what we'll do, go ahead and stop filming on the goggles. Let's just try to reboot this just to make sure it's completely gone. It's uh, now, now there's no power at all. See, we're disconnected. Mm -hmm. We still have the ability to spin freely and this one's just completely locked up. So I knew that these were cheap brushless motors because this plastic, this part of the motor here is plastic and it's the first time I've ever seen a brushless motor with a plastic, I, I would just call that a housing around it. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that before. They're always metal. And that doesn't mean anything really. But this gives us an opportunity to upgrade all of them to better motors, because I kind of like this one. Yeah, no, it's pretty good quad, and they'd be easy to replace. But the point of this is, this is one that was supposed to be a home run, and already on the I can't believe that second happened. battery brushless motor locked up on us. It just goes to show you, brushless motors don't always mean it's good. I mean, they're usually better, but these are cheap brushless motors. I don't know what else to say. Everything was going extremely well. Motor's out. That's it. I, I, we really can't take this video any further. The flight time was incredible. Yeah. Uh, definitely a good beginner quad, but you know, wow. from our experience, you definitely want to get. You're gonna want to get some extra motors. And for those of you that stick out the whole video to the end, good for you because you're probably gonna save money by passing on this now. And uh, for those of you that are still wondering about the giveaway, we're gonna give away a $200 drone coming up really soon. So uh, for that giveaway, just stay tuned and saving you guys money all the time. Sorry about that, being a dud. It's very... I don't think it was a dud. Well, I don't... I just think you're gonna to want to get extra up. motors. Better motors. Be and better motors for sure, yep. I don't know, why would you? If you really want to get into the hobby, and you're wanting something that's auto level that's not doesn't cost an arm and a leg then i think this would be a good one uh, it's hard for me to encourage but i still don't understand why they have to have two separate names for the same quad what are you doing i'm looking under the foam here to see if <laughs> see if it's just a plug you don't just plug it in it's all glued in so mm. i was wondering if maybe it came unplugged or something it's just it's you know, it's resisting turning. So. Well, this video is very long now. Okay, we're done, we're done. <laughs> I'd say pass on that, guys. Remember the one yesterday we showed you that was a, or a day or two ago, that was $130, and it really should have been a $30 drone. Here's one that's almost $200. It just uh, motor burn up on, so. No worries though, right, Nathan? It's starting to spin freely. Let's try it again. It's spinning now, it's spinning. Yeah, yeah no worries, let's, uh, let's do this real fast. Let's just power it on really fast and see if it'll fly. It's spinning freely now. For is it some possible reason. that it could have overheated? It is and possible. And it could do something like that? It is possible. You Let's would think those, that housing could overheat a motor. Let's do this. Let's try it out. Abby, uh, let me see that transmitter. It's powered on really quick. Let's give this guy power. Let me see that. 
remember you hold the red button and turn on and then we should just it's weird that it's beeping it's almost like it's just telling us hey there's something wrong the battery's low or something like it's spinning now definitely a low battery warning now. yeah for sure that's really weird that a motor locked up that is weird guys i'm I'm a little thrown for a loop. Just on all that of a sudden one. it started spinning again. I don't understand that myself. <laughs> I would say if you're interested in this quad, find some 1806-1800 KV brushless motors to replace these motors with. That's yeah. what I say. Yeah. Hey, this is, you know, I've been excited about it. I'm a little disappointed that that happened, but now it's spinning freely again. Yes. Maybe it got too hot, but it didn't feel hot to the touch. It's weird. I'm I'm I've never seen that happen before on this. So First first yeah <laughs> anyway long video i wanted to give you guys a real look at the bugs eight so thanks a lot for watching we'll see you guys in the next video bye